I'm pretty sure there's only been like three or four videos on this channel where I actually go IRL skateboarding, like in real life. Uh, normally I save that for my main channel and I keep this for skateboarding games or just games in general. But today we are switching things up. I have the vlog camera. We are in the office. This is what my my office looks like and we have we're switching things up you'll see i've never really given you guys like a setup tour before thumbs up this video if you want like an actual setup tour i don't think i've ever done that but that's what gamers are supposed to do when they run out of content right okay anyway look who it is what are the brothers are you excited to edit this footage in like three hours so excited <laughs> 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 Sometimes I forget. God, that lighting's bad. Wow, I haven't seen the light of day in this channel in a while. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that a lot of people on this channel don't know that I actually skate in real life. And in real life, I'm sponsored by a shoe company called Kariuma. They've been supporting me for years now. One of the most down-to-earth companies and sponsorships and just supportive family of people I have ever dealt with in my entire skateboarding career. And I've, it is a blessing to ride for Kariuma. And today, there's some exciting news. That is a complete surprise to me, actually. We have this box, but this isn't just a normal, a normal Kariuma box. No, no, no. <laughs> That was so fucking dumb. It's a it's it's a really cool collab. We open it up and it is a Karyuma Razor Gaming collab. Never in a million years did I think my two that's upside down. Did I think my two worlds would combine? Like my actual IRL skateboard sponsor as well as like a, a gaming company, which is the two worlds I'm involved in. What I wanted to do is a little unboxing video and then we're gonna use the backyard skate park in real life. We're gonna use the Backyard Skate Park in Skater XL, and we're gonna have a really fucking cool video. Drum roll, please. Ben, add the drum roll. Come on, hurry up. Add it. What are you waiting for? Just add the drum. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> here it is. We have the shoes. Ooh! Okay, so I'm pretty sure they sent us... You can't see that, can you? I'm pretty sure they sent us a pair of high tops and a pair of low tops. This is actually really sick. Keep in mind, this is my, whoo! This is my first time seeing these, holy shit. I'll get you guys like some close ups in a sec, but it is such a trip for me to see Razor Gaming on a skate shoe of the company that I ride for. That is a trip. All right, I want to open up the low tops now and see what colorway we got. Okay, so yeah, these are low top. Dude! These are fucking sick! Wow! What a trip! And if you really want to go full gamer, they come with neon green. It looks like a, like a computer cable, but they're shoelaces. I don't think I'm gonna wear these, but they come with it if you're into that. I'm gonna get you guys some nice, beautiful B-roll of these magnificent new skater gamer shoes. And then we can go skate. That's probably why you guys are here, because you want to you skate, so let's do that. I figured it was gonna be too big of a hassle to vlog this, so look who I dragged out of his work. <laughs> Hi, buddy. What's up? <laughs> we got the shoes on. I've talked about this in multiple videos, but I'm really OCD about looking down and liking what I see. That's why I don't always like black on black shoes. That's why I'm really hyped. I got the black on white colorway, and looking down, they feel good. I like the way they feel. I like the way they look. Let's see how they skate. As always, we're starting off easy. I wanna do like backboard, frontboard, Front 50, back 50, Smith, just all like the basic warm up tricks so I can get a feel for them.
basic rail tricks out of the way. God damn it. I'm out of breath from like seven tricks. First impression of the shoes, I like them a lot. Obviously you can't really tell much from doing seven tricks. But I mean normally I, have to, I usually microwave shoes and super glue the laces before I skate them. I didn't do that and they feel good and they're already breaking in. I don't want to push myself too hard because I still have to go inside and do all the tricks in Skater XL. So let's do some basics up the little two stair euro. Like ollie kick flip, tray flip, big spin. Just knock out some basics there and go try it inside. We're starting out easy. Just so I don't mess that up in Skater XL. See, that's the one thing that happens with new shoes. They're extra grippy. Cut me some slack. That was big. I want to see that same, same pop in Skater XL. That was a, that was that was a high pop manual catch back foot steez bomb. I got to see that in Skater XL. I don't want to see no whack ass little. <laughs> flip in I, I, I got to do everything I would in Skater XL. High pop manual catch ollie kick flip. Uh, I mean, I guess we gotta do a, a big spin. We'll try a big spin. That does not count by any means. That's a redo. Can't roll away clean. Third try in the charm, maybe? Third try is not the charm. Clearly I meant to say fourth try was the charm. Because third try of the charm is like too cliche. So obviously fourth try, you know. Common skateboard math equations. The usual. God damn it. Well, I can't I get a good one. It's gonna be funny, because I know that certain tricks are gonna be easier in real life. Like the 50-50 the will be easier in real life than Skater XL. With the big spin will be easier in Skater XL than real life. So I'm curious how it plays out. Whoa! I almost just killed Gabe. We're gonna make a deal. If I don't land this one, you get to slot me. Okay, Gabe? Okay. And if I do land this one, everyone watching has to thumbs up the video. Deal? First, we have to shake on it, and then they have to shake on it. There's our shake. There's, yeah. All right, no camera cuts right here. <laughs> hey, that counts. Oh my god! I just died dropping in. Holy shit! We're going for a high pop tray flip. All right, none of that low pop, casual cash. We're going double sticks down, high pop tray flip. This bitch, ready? Yo! That's pretty high. That so weird. I thought I was gonna get hit. I don't know if I got through full. I went like this because I thought I was gonna get hit. <laughs> I felt my board going straight for your shins. It's always the easy tricks that end up being the hardest. Alright, right here. There it is. And then last trick I wanna try is the same thing as Skater XL. I'm way too predictable with the tricks I do, so I wanna try to spice up a little bit. I'm gonna try front three up the Euro. And I think it'll, like, I can do front threes. But because it's so narrow, it might be a little bit harder. I'll give that a couple tries, and then go inside and see if I can remember him in Skater XL. Oh, boy! Gave to the referee. Rebate or count? Uh, rebate. Just to see it one more time. That's a fucking mistake. He don't know it All yet. Right. God damn it. <laughs> None, the first one counted. God! Here, take the camera, later. Ah, I quit, dude. Too many times I've fucking been hit by a board. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Gabe. It hit him right in the dick, too. Are you okay, buddy? Yeah. I think he's mad at me. Whoa. See, that's why it's so scary that it's narrow. What do you say, referee? One more or no, good? That was great. That looked fantastic. We're done. <laughs> do you think you film one more but stand like right here? No. Oh my god. 
That was so scary. I just want one clean one. Fuck! Stop touching the wall! I'm taking it, I'm done. Alright. That's enough of that. I'm not a skater. I'm a gamer, bro. Alright, I'm gonna go inside. Try to recreate that in Skater XL. We're back in my office We're playing Skater XL. I had the homie make the Razor Karyumas in game and they're insanely crazy accurate. Damn. I'm going in on the detail and they are literally exactly the same as that's a trip. I don't even know how that's possible. Even got the dude, you can see like the thread, like the, the thread count in the actual shoes and the logo. And then the razor. Dude, you can see the threads. That's so sick. Hold on, I wanna see if you can see the uh, the bottom of the shoe. Hold on. Bro! No way. That's so sick. All right, let's, let's, let's. How did I end up in the football field? I wanna do one little itty bitty line here at Easy Day High School before we go to... I'm sure you guys know what map we're skating. Damn it, what is happening? That was ugly. Just simple. Nolly heel, tray flip, and then kick flip back, Smith, front 180, and then switch back, big spin. Okay, moving on. We are putting the backyard skate park map to use today. So A, B, C, D, E, F, carrot, Jenner's backyard, final, there it is. You can probably tell where this is going. I want to recreate some of the tricks we did in real life in Skater XL, thanks to Sashko's amazing backyard skate park replica. We'll start with, oh, I got to talk about something. There's a hole in my jacket. Okay, I know, I see it. I fell and it ripped a hole. That's the story we're going with. I wanted to change my dude's fit up a little bit. So we, we got the, the open hoodie, but the issue with that mesh is that it doesn't perfectly fit. So we, and, and I don't even know what's going on with the dreads. Stop asking me about the dreads, okay? They're just there. But yeah, we got a little bit of a style upgrade or a downgrade, whatever you want to call it. Oh, there we go. We just broke everything. Let's start with the backboard slide. We'll... we'll Ah, uh, we'll go in order of difficulty. Backboard slide, done. I think I only ever front boarded from this side. I just don't like the... Oh, it actually skated good. I was gonna say the hump sometimes doesn't skate well. That was decent. I wanna get a little bit of a less ugly front board. There we go. And then 50-50, of course. That was a 5-0. I've noticed the shorter the rail in Skater XL, at least for me, the harder it is to 50-50. I just can't do it. It's funny because in real life, 50-50s are like the my easiest go-to trick on every rail, you know? But in Skater XL, it's just uncomfortably difficult for me to do one. And that's it. Damn it! I gotta stop doing willies! All right, I gotta push up more... Uh, I know we got into it near the end. It just, it always starts out as a little 5-0 because I'm not pushing the front stick down enough, but then it dips in. Let me try one more. I'm just going to force myself to push that front stick down. Dude, okay. Look at this. I'm putting my controller on. You're dealing with the red and blue shoes for a sec. You can, I, I'm literally pushing down on the front stick as much as I can. And it still puts us in 5-0 first. That was a better one. That's the one we're gonna we're gonna go with, but 50-50s are my weakness. I guess let's just hammer off all the basics. Front Smith. Dude, why is this easier in real life? God, I get anxiety skating my skate park in Skater XL. For some reason, it's easier in real life. I cannot Smith grind. There it is. That was a Smith grind. Next trick would be front lip. There it is. I think what part of my problem is I'm trying to low pop everything. Because if I high pop it, I can do it. I just think I'm over popping. You know what I mean? And when I low pop it, ew, that was it. That was a good one. I get that. That's realistic. The lower you pop, the harder it is to get on the rail. Let's do front feeble. God, that's literally what I do in real life. If I miss the lock in a front feeble, I always go to front board. God, okay. I might high pop this one just because I know I can get into it easier and stop doing that. There it is. That was such a pathetic little lock-in. It's like, I need to dip down a little bit more. I want to try something. I want to try pushing up on both sticks. Because I, I think that'll give me the dip I want. Yeah, okay. Once I get the right lock-in, I think that's it. I'm just, because it's a down rail, I have to push down low on both sticks. There it is. That was 
decent. That's just as good as my real life ones. All right, 50-50, Smith, lip slide, nose grind, front feeble. I think that's most of the tricks I did that way. This is so crazy feeling because I'm literally doing the warm-ups that I would do in real life, like in that order. Let me get a better back lip. There we go. Always do a crook. There we go. Uh, back Smith. See, I, I can dip those fine. That dipped beautifully, but for some reason, I can't get the front feebles to do that. Like, that felt good. That was sick. And back 50, which for some reason I can do easier than front 50, also doesn't make sense. I think that's everything I did on the A-frame. We'll, we'll move on to the, the Euro and then go back to the A-frame if we miss anything. So, we're starting this off as easy as can be, and we're recreating... Oh, well, <laughs> apparently not. We're recreating the ollie. That's a trick I can do. Kick flip. That was a good kick flip. Uh, heel flip. Again, I'm trying to just go in, in order from memory of what I did in real life. Big spin. That's a really weird trick in real life because of how narrow it is. So like, because I usually move to the side when I big spin, so that one actually takes a second in real life. And of course, tray flip. Gotta love it. Varial heel. Beautiful. And we'll end it off. Uh... I tried to make that realistic in the sense that I would pivot it like, like I did in real life. You know what I mean? But like the high pop with the pre-wind just looks so much better. Even though that's not how I do them in real life. That just looks beautiful in game. That was essentially all the tricks I did in real life. But we're playing a video game and the possibilities are endless. I want to have some fun now. It's been talked about in the Skater XL modding community forever to have a shoe wear mod. Like the more you skate it, your shoes will get holes and stuff like that. Doing like a video like this where I skate the shoes in real life and then I skate them in game. It's really nice to have the shoes be perfect after skating as opposed to, you know, real life where they have wear. But damn, they're looking fresh. I like the little alien guy. Okay, moving on. My Switch game is weak, both in Skater XL and real life. I want to try to just get like essentially the same tricks but switch i've done switch front board switch front lip would be a new trick for me so i kind of want to go out and learn that but not right now <laughs> uh switch front feeble is a dream trick for me i don't even know if i can do it in the game but let's see uh no god why why is switch hard i understand switch being hard in in real life Oh, but the fact that it's like legitimately challenging in a video game for me, it's its cool, but it's also frustrating. That's it. There it is. I like that one. And then this trick I've done a couple times in real life, but I have no means I'm consistent of it. And while we're on the topic of dream tricks, throw a flip into it. That's my, that's the next goal that I'm trying to learn on the A-frame is full cab lip or full cab flip lip. This one as well. Uh, would that be considered i've always wondered is that a half cab backsmith or a full cab that's a half cab backsmith right well if i can do it there it is that's that's half cab backsmith for sure and then last one on the topic of spinning into tricks ow full cab nose blunt damn it Oh, it wants it. Oh, no. God, I gotta stop doing that, dude. I keep accidentally kicking the cord that plugs my camera in and it breaks everything. And now you can't see me. We're back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're back. I was trying full cab nose blunt. I, okay, I gotta talk about something for a sec. From your guys' perspective, it's probably really cool seeing, you know, the my actual backyard skate park from YouTube videos and whatnot, and then seeing it in game. And I'm, I'm sure it's, uh, it's cool to see, you know what I mean? From my perspective, it is the most bizarre, crazy, cool feeling I've ever experienced. I can go in the backyard and battle a trick. For example, full cab nose blunt. I haven't tried that yet because I'm scared. But I could go out literally in the backyard and battle it, right? Fast forward to in here, I can do the exact same thing. And it's not like, I guess the point I'm getting at is it's not like Tony Hawk Pro Skater or something where you just push the right buttons and combinations and you do the trick. It legitimately feels... Like I'm battling it, you know, I, I'm, I'm attempting it over and over again, hoping for a different result. And I just got it. That was so sick. I guess what I'm getting at is it's a really, really cool feeling having this in Skater XL. And then combine it with the shoes that I have in real life. It, it feels like real life, except I don't have to actually hurt myself. And for good measures. How, how is that even possible? I want the laser flip back lip. I don't do enough heel flips. God, that was bad. I'm debating if I should um, uh, vertical flip it or not. 
that's no vertical flip that was just ugly and this is with vertical flip <laughs> also ugly okay i think if that flipped i'd like that so that's no vertical flip that's just straight 270 heal yeah i like that a lot that looked good that's just a good looking trick i think that just about covers all the bases I, I wanted to get more mini ramp tricks in here, but I've just, I don't have the talent required in Skater XL to skate it well, you know what I mean? I've been thinking of some video ideas for a while and I want your guys' opinions slash feedback uh, because I have, oh, I'm going the wrong way. What are we doing? We meant to do that. Because I have this map in Skater XL and because I have this map <laughs> in, in my backyard, there's a lot and lot and lots of possibilities of videos, ideas that we could do, whether it's games of skate battle royale you name it let me know in the comments what you think would make the most entertaining video combining either the skater xl version of my map or the session version of my map and real life because i definitely want to get some cross pollination content uh, between those so let me know i'm gonna look through the comments i'm find some ideas take your ideas use them not give you credit and profit off of them. <laughs> kidding i'll give you credit obviously Karayuma, thank you guys for sponsoring this video obviously uh it's it's really cool <laughs> to have them be in my life both in the irl skateboarding world as well as the gaming world this is the the razor karyuma collab is the collab i didn't know i needed i was really stoked when they announced that and i was like i i was i was not expecting it i will have a link in the description for all the info you need my streams the link to the shoes essentially everything you may want will be down below i'm gonna stop talking now and end the video okay bye but wait I know the video is over, but this is a sponsored video thanks to Karyuma. So if you guys are interested in the Razor Karyuma shoes, I will have a link in the captions, which I think pop up on one of the sides, as well as the description down below. But in the captions up above, you can buy the shoes if you want them. Okay, that's the end of the video now for real. Peace out.